Mark Harmon, a talented actor, rose from humble beginnings to become a beloved figure on screen. With a career spanning decades, he became known for his strong characters and steady presence. His most notable role as a special agent in a long-running crime drama series won him fans across generations. Harmon's dedication to his craft and his ability to connect with audiences have made him a respected name in entertainment. His journey from athlete to actor is a testament to his adaptability and hard work. Mark Harmon is an actor known for his role as a crime investigator in the popular television series NCIS. His work has entertained many, and he's been a familiar face on TV for years. Now, we're curious about your connection with Mark Harmon. Has he inspired you in any way? What was the first show or movie where you saw him? And what's your most memorable moment related to Mark Harmon? We're eager to hear your stories and memories, so please share them with us in the comments. Stay tuned because we've got many surprising and touching facts about Mark Harmon coming up that you won't want to miss. Mark Harmon was born on September 2, 1951 in Burbank, California. His father, Tom Harmon, was a football star and broadcaster, and his mother, Alice Knox, was an actress and artist. Growing up in a family involved in the entertainment and sports industries, Mark was exposed to the spotlight from a young age. His sister, Kristen Harmon, also pursued acting, which further surrounded him with creative influences. Despite this environment, Mark initially chose to follow in his father's footsteps, focusing on sports during his school years. He played college football at UCLA before eventually being drawn to acting. His early career was supported by Ozzie Nelson, who gave him his first job on Ozzie's Girls, and his sister's husband, Ricky Nelson, who was a musician and actor. These family connections and early experiences in the industry shaped his path to becoming an actor. Mark Harmon is an actor known for his role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs in the popular television series NCIS. His work on this show made him a household name and earned him a spot in the hearts of viewers around the world. Harmon's portrayal of a dedicated and no-nonsense special agent won him praise and made the character one of the most beloved on television. His career spans several decades and he has appeared in a variety of roles that showcase his talent and range as an actor. Harmon's contribution to the entertainment industry is significant, with performances that have entertained and moved audiences, making him a notable figure in television history. Mark Harmon found his passion for acting in college after an injury ended his dreams of becoming a professional athlete. He took a small role in a school production and was struck by the thrill of performing. This experience opened his eyes to a new path and he decided to pursue acting as his career. His early days on stage were challenging, but the joy of bringing stories to life drove him to keep improving his skills. Harmon's dedication led him to become a successful actor, known for his ability to bring characters to life on screen. His journey shows that sometimes a change in plans can lead to discovering one's true calling. Mark Harmon, a familiar face on television, gained significant popularity in 2011, securing a spot as one of the top actors in primetime TV. Sharing his birthday with actor Michael Gray, Harmon has a connection to classic television that fans find interesting. His role as Sam Crawford in Moonlighting marked his entry into the world of detective series, a genre he revisited in 1995 with Charlie Grace. Harmon's career, highlighted by these roles, reflects his steady presence in the industry and his ability to connect with audiences through his performances. Mark Harmon, known for his acting career, faced significant challenges early on. He struggled financially, which is common for actors starting out. The film and television industry also doubted his abilities, a hurdle many actors encounter. Despite these difficulties, Harmon remained determined. He found creative ways to manage his finances, like taking on various roles to support himself. His dedication to improving his craft led to better opportunities. Over time, he gained respect in the industry for his strong work ethic and talent. His journey shows that with hard work and persistence, one can overcome doubts and financial barriers to succeed in a competitive field. Mark Harmon and Pam Dauber's relationship began on March 21, 1986, and led to their marriage exactly one year later. In his acting career, Mark expanded his skills by learning American Sign Language through the Sign Company, which he used in various TV roles. His commitment to his craft is also evident from his performances where he did not shy away from challenging scenes, including those that required him to appear without clothes, as seen in films like The Presidio and Sweet Bird of Youth, as well as in the television series NCIS. 
Mark Harmon's career saw a significant turn when he joined the cast of the legal drama series Reasonable Doubts in 1991. His role as Detective Dickie Cobb earned him praise for his acting skills. Another major moment was when he started playing Leroy Jethro Gibbs on the hit show NCIS in 23. This role brought him international fame and showed his ability to lead a long-running series. His colleagues and critics have noted his strong presence on screen and his skill at bringing characters to life. His work on NCIS has been a defining part of his career, making him well-known in households around the world. In the movie Summer School, Mark Harmon played the role of Freddie Shoup, a laid-back teacher known for his red Ray-Ban sunglasses. In another film, The Presidio, he portrayed Jay Austin, sharing the screen with Jack Warden, whom he had worked with years earlier in Beyond the Poseidon Adventure. Harmon's connection to television extended through family ties as well. His niece, Tracy Nelson, appeared in Melrose Place as the sister of Courtney Thorne Smith's character. Mark Harmon, known for his role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs in the television series NCIS, approaches acting with a focus on authenticity and dedication to the craft. He prepares for roles by deeply understanding the character's background, often drawing from his own life to bring truth to his performances. His style is subtle yet powerful, favoring naturalism over dramatic flair. Harmon's personal experiences, particularly his early years in athletics and his father's influence, shape his work ethic and collaborative spirit. He values teamwork and often speaks about the importance of the ensemble cast in creating a believable world on screen. This approach has earned him respect in the industry and a connection with audiences who appreciate his genuine portrayals. Harmon's unique method shows that an actor does not need to be loud to be effective. A quiet intensity can be just as compelling. Mark Harmon started his college education aiming to become a doctor, but found his calling in communications. This early interest in medicine was reflected in his acting roles, where he portrayed doctors on television shows like St. Elsewhere and Chicago Hope. Although he missed out on the role of Dan Gallagher in the movie Fatal Attraction, which Michael Douglas ultimately played, Harmon's career was not hindered by this. Off screen, he takes a stand for gun control with his wife, Pam Dauber, showing that his personal beliefs are different from the characters he plays, such as the special agent who often carries a gun in his line of duty. Mark Harmon has been a steady presence in television for decades. His role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs on NCIS won him fans across generations. He brought a sense of authenticity and dedication to his roles, which has influenced many actors who followed. Experts say his work ethic and approach to character development set a standard for others. His ability to lead a long-running series while maintaining high performance is admired. The young actors look up to his career as a guide for success in the industry. Harmon's consistent portrayal of strong, reliable characters has made a significant impression on storytelling, showing that a character does not need to be flashy to be memorable. Mark Harmon holds Gary Cooper in high esteem, admiring his approach to acting. This respect influenced Harmon's portrayal of characters, such as Jay Austin in The Presidio, where he stepped in for Don Johnson. His role as Sam Crawford in Moonlighting was notable, especially in a controversial scene critiqued by Susan Faludi in her book Backlash. The scene sparked discussion about its portrayal of gender dynamics and consent. Harmon's performances continue to be a topic of conversation, reflecting the changing perspectives on media and society. Mark Harmon, known for his acting career, also leads a life filled with personal interests and values that shape his work. He is a family man, married to actress Pam Dauber, and they have two sons. His love for family often reflects in the roles he chooses, portraying characters with strong family ties. Harmon is also an avid sports fan, which is evident from his past as a college football quarterback. This background in sports has influenced his approach to teamwork and leadership, both on and off the screen. Harmon's commitment to helping others is seen through his support for various charitable causes. He is particularly involved in efforts that aid children in need. For instance, he supports the Children's Hospital Los Angeles, where he contributes not just financially, but also by spending time with the young patients. His dedication to such causes demonstrates his belief in giving back to the community and using his fame to make a positive difference in the lives of others. This generosity and care are aspects of his life that inspire his work and connect with his audience. Herman's actions off screen are a testament to his character, showing that he values kindness and community support as much as his professional achievements. 
Mark Harmon played Freddie Shoup in the movie Summer School and appeared as a guest star in two episodes of JAG, which led to the creation of NCIS. In the Presidio, he took on the role of Jay Austin, a part initially meant for Kevin Costner. Harmon's godfather, Forrest Vashevsky, is recognized in the College Football Hall of Fame for his achievements as a coach. Mark Harmon has been a steady presence in television and film for decades. His work ethic and dedication to his craft have set a standard for actors. He always focused on the story being told and his part in it, rather than personal glory. For those starting in the industry, he advises learning as much as possible, not just about acting, but also about life. He believes in hard work, persistence, and always being prepared. For the future, he aims to continue exploring characters and stories that challenge him and resonate with audiences. His journey shows that a successful career is built on continuous learning and adapting. Mark Harmon has a close connection to his on-screen character as his oldest son, Sean Harmon, took on the role of a young Gibbs in the television series NCIS. In 1986, Mark was recognized for his charm and appeal, earning the title of Sexiest Man Alive from People magazine. He also shares a love for classic cars with his father. Together, they brought a 1951 Woody back to its former glory through careful restoration. Mark Harmon's journey in acting shows a strong love for the craft and a drive to bring new ideas to the screen. Starting with small roles and growing to lead major TV shows, his dedication has been clear. He has played a variety of characters, showing his skill and ability to adapt. His work has left a lasting impression on fans and fellow actors alike. The story of Mark Harmon is a reminder that with creativity and hard work, one can leave a lasting mark and inspire others to follow their dreams and keep pushing forward no matter the challenges. Mark Harmon's journey in acting is filled with unique beginnings and notable moments. His career started with an unusual role, playing a gorilla on the television show Ozzy's Girls in 1973, a job he landed through a family connection to Ozzy Nelson, the show's star and producer. Years later, he found himself in a significant relationship with actress Christina Raines, his co-star from Flamingo Road. Their relationship lasted four years, starting from their meeting on the set of Centennial in 1978 and ending in 1984. In a memorable television role, Herman portrayed Dr. Robert Caldwell on St. Elsewhere, a character whose life ended due to AIDS. This role was significant, especially since at a memorial service within the show, a comment was made about Caldwell's belief in his own attractiveness, subtly nodding to Harmon's real-life accolade of being named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 1986. Mark Harmon, known for his acting skills, shares no family ties with Angie Harmon, despite both having worked with Sasha Alexander. In a twist of on-screen events, Mark portrayed a character who lost his gun due to a faulty holster design in the show Adam-12. This incident mirrored a real-life issue that led the Los Angeles Police Department to stop using that holster type. Off-screen, Mark shows appreciation for his fans by often wearing shirts they send him. Mark Harmon's life off-screen included the companionship of his pets, a bearded collie named Ryan and a cat named Arnold. At 16, while working a job delivering flowers, he discovered a bouquet meant for a girl dating his friend, but not sent by him. Mark discreetly replaced the card to make it appear as though his friend had sent the flowers. On the football field, Mark made a memorable debut for UCLA, leading the team to a victory against Nebraska, breaking their 32-game winning streak and shaking up the college football scene. Mark Harmon brought authenticity to his role as Freddie Shoup in summer school because of his real-life experience as a quarterback for the University of California, Los Angeles in the 1970s. His familiarity with the game and the team's blue and gold colors shared by the movie's fictional team, the Sharks added a touch of reality to his performance. In the Presidio, Harmon played Jay Austin, a character whose story is intertwined with iconic San Francisco landmarks. Notably, a scene featuring an aircraft carrier under the Golden Gate Bridge became a memorable part of the opening titles for the first two seasons of NCIS, a show where Harmon later starred. Harmon's connection to football extended beyond his college years. He was close to joining the University of Oklahoma's team, but ultimately chose UCLA. His decision was driven by a desire to contribute to a struggling program and help it improve, showcasing his commitment to team building and leadership. 
Mark Harmon, known for his acting career, also had a significant role with Adidas as their national shoe representative during the 1970s. His love for running was evident after college, as he would run an impressive 60 to 70 miles every week. His achievements in television were recognized when he received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on October 1, 2012, located at 6253 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. Mark Harmon, known for his role as Freddy Shoop in the movie Summer School, once had a real-life mishap during filming. While shooting a scene where a couch caught fire, Harmon sprang into action to put it out. In the process, he injured his left hand, visibly damaging one of his fingers. This incident showed his quick thinking and dedication to the role. In addition to his acting, Harmon's past as a football player left him with a lasting injury. His left knee was abducted, a reminder of the physical demands of his sports career. Harmon's appeal extended beyond the screen, leading to a lucrative deal with Coors. In the 1980s, he was paid $2 million for his work in their commercials, reflecting his popularity and the value he brought to the brand. Mark Harmon's journey in football and acting is a story of talent and adaptability. In 1973, during a football practice at UCLA, he suffered a broken collarbone. Despite the setback, he was the leading quarterback for the UCLA Bruins in 1972 and 1973, playing alongside notable teammates like Randy Gashler and Fulton Kuykendall. His transition from the sports field to the screen was marked by his role as Freddie Shoup in the movie Summer School. Director Carl Reiner chose Harmon for his ability to bring depth to the character, a quality he noticed when Harmon played Ted Bundy in The Deliberate Stranger. Harmon's friendly demeanor off-screen helped him secure the role, showcasing his skill in bringing characters to life beyond their surface traits. Mark Harmon's life has been touched by both personal loss and professional milestones. His mother, Elias Knox, left us at the age of 94. In his acting career, Mark had the unique role of being the first to portray Ted Bundy, a notorious figure. Years later, he shared the screen with Sean Murray in The Right Stuff, an episode of Hearts of the West in 1993. Their paths crossed again in 2003 on the set of NCIS, marking a decade-long reunion since their first collaboration. Mark Harmon took on the role of Dr. Robert Caldwell in the medical drama series St. Elsewhere, portraying a skilled plastic surgeon. His departure from the show was marked by his character's exit due to an AIDS diagnosis, reflecting a significant moment in television history. Off-screen, Harmon was dedicated to fitness, running 45 miles weekly in his younger days. His personal life also had its share of interesting moments like the time he and Pam Dauber, before they were married, enjoyed a double date with Julian Phillips and music legend Bruce Springsteen. Mark Harmon comes from a family with notable backgrounds. His father, Tom Harmon, was a star football player, securing the Heisman Trophy in 1940 for his outstanding performance at the University of Michigan. Mark's life also intersected with two controversial figures through marriage John DeLorean, a car maker who faced legal troubles over drug-related charges, and Ricky Nelson, a musician who tragically passed away in a plane crash, which was initially suspected to be caused by drug use, a claim that was later proven untrue. Mark himself achieved academic and athletic success, graduating with honors in communications from the University of California, Los Angeles, and excelling as a quarterback for the UCLA Bruins, where he received an award for his all-around excellence in 1972 and 1973. His journey reflects a blend of academic achievement and athletic legacy surrounded by family members who experience both fame and infamy. Mark Harmon stays fit by practicing Pilates. His role as Jay Austin in the Presidio shares traits with his later character Leroy Jethro Gibbs in NCIS. Both are ex-military police turned detectives. Harmon also became well known early on as the face of Coors Beer, appearing in over 20 commercials for the brand during the 1980s. Mark Harmon took on the chilling role of Ted Bundy, showcasing his acting range by portraying the infamous serial killer in The Deliberate Stranger. His admiration for classic film stars is evident in his personal life. He holds Gary Cooper, Buster Keaton, and Williams Hart in high regard, a fact reflected in the custom license plates of his vintage vehicles. Harmon's first step into television was shared with his father in an advertisement for Kellogg's Product 19 cereal, marking the beginning of his journey in the entertainment industry. Mark Harmon's role as Leroy Jethro Gibbs on NCIS began after Donald P. Belisario, the show's creator, 
was impressed by Harmon's portrayal of a Secret Service agent on the West Wing. Contrary to some reports, Mark is not related to William Franklin Knox, the former U.S. Secretary of the Navy. His mother, Elise Knox, was the daughter of Frederick and Elizabeth Cornbrath. Mark Harmon has brought Leroy Jethro Gibbs to life not just on NCIS, but also on JAG, NCIS Los Angeles, Family Guy, and NCIS New Orleans, showing his ability to adapt this character across various shows. Mark Harmon brings a unique touch to his role on NCIS with a personal dressing room unlike any other. He chose a vintage 1972 Airstream trailer, which he restored by hand, complete with a classic red and white checkered floor, and a retro 8-track player, blending old-school charm with modern-day filming. Off-screen, Mark was known as quarterback during his younger years, a nickname given by his father, who was an announcer at Mark's football games. To avoid using his son's name during broadcasts, he referred to Mark by his position on the field. Before his rise to fame, Mark's life was grounded in the everyday, with a summer job as a lifeguard at Laguna Beach, California. This job was more than just a way to earn money. It was a discipline that prepared him for the rigors of football practice, thanks to the early morning runs his father encouraged on the beach. His early career also saw him in the commentator's booth, providing color commentary for UCLA football games, which gave him a platform to discuss his early acting work, including the series Sam in 1978. Harmon's journey reflects a blend of hard work and the simple joys of life shaping the actor we see today. Mark Harmon, known for his acting skills, grew up with his siblings Kelly and Kristen. In the movie The Presidio, he portrayed Jay Austin and was seen driving a copper-colored Dodge Diplomat, the same car driven by Leslie Nielsen in The Naked Gun. During his career, Mark experienced two shoulder injuries. The first occurred while shooting summer school in 1987, and the second happened during the production of a Coors beer advertisement. Mark Harmon took on the role of Jay Austin in the Presidio, sharing a connection with Sean Connery, whose character was named Caldwell. Interestingly, Harmon had previously portrayed a character with the same last name, Dr. Robert Caldwell, on the television series St. Elsewhere. While filming Beyond the Poseidon Adventure, Harmon suffered a serious injury, resulting in a broken eardrum. Later in Worth Winning, he worked alongside actor Mark Blum, adding another notable performance to his career. Mark Harmon has been a familiar face on our screens, bringing characters to life with skill and sincerity. His roles have left a lasting impression on many of us. Let's hear from you in the comments about your favorite moments from his career. If you enjoy discussions about actors who have shaped our viewing experiences like this video, share it with friends and subscribe for more content that celebrates the artists who entertain and inspire us. Your participation helps keep the memory of great performances alive and supports the creation of new content. Thank you for watching and being part of our community.